Finally, bringing you the tightrope after a long awaited wait of waiting, of, of waiting. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? My name is Cooper Eddie. Today I'm gonna to teach you the world-renowned trick, the tightrope. This is one of the hardest tricks in Kendama, so don't be surprised if it takes you a long time to get it. This one takes a lot of practice. It took me weeks to even figure out in the first place, so stick with me. We're gonna learn how to do it. First of all, before this tutorial, you need to go and learn how to do the borders balance. Borders balance is the first trick that actually teaches you how to balance the spike on the Tama. And you're gonna need this skill when learning how to do the tightrope. Before you do this trick, you wanna pick out a Kendama which has a flat used spike. If it has a brand new sharp spike, it's gonna be really hard to do the tightrope. So whenever I try to do it, I try to pick out a Kendama with a really used dull spike, giving you the most room to do the tightrope on. The color of the string you're using actually matters a lot in the tightrope. You want the string color to have the most contrast with whatever background you're against. So right now we're against a white screen. So for these examples, I'm gonna to switch to this bright green string so you guys can see it against my shirt and I can see it against the ground. So the first step of the tightrope is the pull-up. The tama position in my right hand is with the hole facing the inside of my hand and the string hole facing to my left. Now when I pull up the ken, I grab the string with my left hand about three or four inches away from the string hole. Now you don't want to pull as tight as you can. You want it to be about an eight out of 10 of tightness. You'll know it's too tight if the spike is bouncing off the string and it's not balancing right. And you'll know it's not tight enough if there's a lot of slack and the spike really bends the string a lot. You want it to be right, the perfect amount of tension. So the second you pull it up, you grab the string with your left hand to get ready to do the tightrope. It looks like this. Pull, grab. So now the arc of the ken as you pull it up is the most important part. This is what the whole trick hinges on. You want the tip of the spike just to gently curl around the string. Imagine if my finger is the string right here and you're looking straight at it. You want the spike to gently curl around the string and just prop itself on top. You don't want it to fall and you don't want it to be going up at the same time. You want it to be, have a perfect apex right at the string. If it's falling and you try to catch it on the string, most likely that the spike will bounce off and it won't do it correctly. So the place where you want this to happen, the apex to happen is right at your chest. Like I said, the pull up is the most important part. So when it's pulling up, you just put the string where you think it needs to be right at chest level. And then you use your knees to do the rest of the adjustments, trying to track the spike right onto the string and then using your knees to balance it out. Tight rope is a rare trick because you can't even practice the tight rope part until you're able to get the spike onto the string. There's ways to do it, like placing the spike on the string and trying to balance it out from there. But that's, I, I didn't learn that way and I think it's a lot harder. So first step is learning how to get that spike onto the string. It's gonna take a lot of repetition each time. Try to balance it out as long as possible. One second to two seconds to three seconds and then up. Now, I've been doing it for so long, I can balance it for probably like 30, 40 seconds. But at first I was going for like half a second, one second. It's gonna take some time. Balancing the tightrope is one of the hardest parts because there's so many apexes and axes that you can mess up on. There's the left and the right. There's the forward and the backward, the up and the down. It's all about trying to keep this string as level as possible. That's gonna make it so the tie rope balances perfectly straight. If it's off in any direction, the tight rope's gonna fall off and you're not gonna really understand why until you fix that perfectly balanced string. But once you're able to get it balanced, you're gonna need to know how to get out of the tight rope. The classic way to do it is just to go in. So you have the whole tight rope set up and you drop everything at one time. And as it's dropping, you give the tama a turn so the tama hole is facing up and let it drop right in. That's the in. You can do a lot of other ways. You can flip to the lighthouse. You can uh, flip it to lunar. You can even try to go for the tightrope flip if you want to. That's one of the hardest tricks in Kendama. There's many possibilities of how to get out of the tightrope. But like I said, keep practicing. Getting it into the tightrope is the hardest part of the trick. So a quick recap, step one, pulling that ken up and grabbing the string at the exact same time, the perfect amount of tension. Step two, making sure that the ken is doing a perfect arch directly over the string so it's not falling or rising. It does a perfect gentle land on the string. Step three, 
using those knees to balance it out, making sure that all of your axes are perfectly level so the tightrope can stay balanced. And step four is getting out of it. Like I said, I like to do the classic falling in where I drop everything at once and get it into the tama. The tightrope is one of the most infamous tricks in kendama, so do not get discouraged if you don't get it right away. It's gonna take a lot of repetition and a lot of practice. This is a trick that me personally, I am very known for. Uh, I was one of the first people to do the tightrope along with Miles Gibson, throwback from CKG if you know him. I'm super proud that everyone's trying to learn the tightrope and give it a go and I'm excited for the whole world to learn how to do this trick. So if you land the tightrope, make sure to tag me in your post because I want to see you do it. If you like this tutorial, drop a like below, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel.